Okay, take one. These are anemones. They are typical buttercups in the family Ranunculaceae. The flowers have regular symmetry and many separate parts. Many stamens and many carpels spirally arranged on a dome-shaped receptacle. An example of other buttercups include clematis, hepatica, and columbine. So here's the flower of the anemone. I have a hard time with the word anemone because I don't know if it's an anemone or anemone. I don't know if, it, if the anemone is my enemy. I cannot spell that word. I just type it and look for little wavy lines going underneath it. Typical member of the ranunculaceae. What we see are five, are they petals? Are they sepals? We'll try to figure that out. And many stamens and many carpels. As far as what those colorful attractive parts are, if we look at the flower when it's just beginning to open up, we'll see that there's nothing underneath there. So this is a very young flower. And these things that are opening up are these colorful parts that we'd be tempted to call petals. It turns out they're sepals. This flower doesn't actually have any petals. It just has sepals. Often, if there's only one series in a perianth, it's, it's sepals and not petals. So this flower has no petals, has petaloid sepals, it has five of them, and it's got uh, many pistils, many carpels, separately inserted, hypogenous, flower type and ovary position, superior ovary, radial symmetry, very typical member of the mustard family, anemone canadensis. A vegetative feature, which is worth noting, is the leaves. They're compound, which is often the case. In this case, they happen to be whorled, which isn't super common in the ranunculaceae. But what I'd like to point out is they don't have any leaf-like appendages at the base of the leaf stalks. There are no stipules in the, of the ranunculaceae. There are stipules in many members of the sometimes somewhat similar rosaceae. And we'll have, when we look at the rosaceae, we'll keep an eye out for stipules. Boy, this anemone is doing well. This anemone is not my enemy.